What if a modern IndyCar had a thousand horsepower? Would it be able to compete with a modern Formula One car? We head over to the Circuit of the Americas, a track that has seen both IndyCar and Formula One. The F1 pole in 2022 was a 134.356, while the best outright IndyCar lap is a 145.454, set in round two qualifying in 2019. We first need to set a baseline lap in stock trim, where the car has about 700 horsepower and will be using the push to pass. The question we need to ask is could a modern IndyCar engine even produce a thousand horsepower? The 2.2 liter engines are limited to just 24 psi of boost pressure with the push to pass feature, and consider the 2.65 liter engines in 1999 or 2000 were making over 900 horsepower on methanol, it's safe to say that with over 20 years of technological advancements that a thousand horsepower would be possible with no limits on boost or other kinds of modifications though the engine would consume a lot more fuel. There also wouldn't be a push to pass, as this would be the maximum power available at all times. To adjust for the additional horsepower, we're going to need to make some setup changes. We're going to run maximum downforce on the rear wing, and we're just going to try to balance it out on the front wing. We're going to start with 80% boost. We're going to run a full tank of gas because it is burning more fuel. And we are going to adjust our gear ratios for the additional speed, and we'll start with about 322 kph. All right, here we go. With 80% boost, we should be around 800 horsepower, which is about 100 horsepower more than we had before. definitely feel the extra power already. A bit of understeer on the outlap. I'm hoping with the maximum downforce that we're running we're going to have a little bit better cornering speeds and definitely hoping it's going to be better under braking which is what we're going to need with the additional speed. Our first run down the back straight. Let's see how fast we go. We're past our previous speed, 300. Was that 309? A 
to say it doesn't feel as good through that high speed corner. Alright, our first lap. Nice and easy on the throttle. Yeah, I'd say the setup is not perfect for sure. A little bit of understeer. Doesn't help that I hit that curb. Right down the straight again. Easy on the throttle. All the way up to over 185, what is that, maybe 190 miles an hour. Hard on the brakes. Ooh. Big tire lock up there. Does not like being on the curb. I expected to make a bunch of mistakes because we're coming into the corner so much faster now. All right, we're gonna crank on a hundred percent boost. Oh wow, it is fast. That was 300, give or take, going into turn one. Slight lift. Gear ratios might not be perfect, but it is fast. The extra horsepower just blows through those gears. That's 300. Yeah, 320. 200 miles an hour on the back straight. Wow. Got to be so delicate on the throttle. Could use some improvement in this section right here. A little bit of setup work is needed. Oh, big slide. And a 47-0. Could have been a 46. Holy. Yeah. 300 extra horsepower is definitely noticeable. But I'm sure we can do better than this. So I'm going to work a little bit on the setup. And we're going to show you just how fast this car is. With a few tweaks and a little bit of practice.
over three seconds faster with 300 extra horsepower. Even with a couple of clicks of extra front downforce and some other minor changes, the chassis was not as comfortable with 1000 horsepower. I'm sure with some more setup tweaks and some more laps, another second could be found. But it still isn't anywhere close to Formula 1 territory, which is really no surprise. Now if you like this video, hit the like button, subscribe, and thanks for watching.